we're flying by the seat of our trousers. Hey, Brandon. What? It's Friday the 13th. Nothing scarier than um, just when my team plays football. Yeah, it was scarier last night. Yeah, last I already night. saw the horror show. Yeah, yeah. It's just, Jason ran away. Yeah, Jason was like, <laughs> you got the Broncos no offense today. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. <laughs> We here. We steer. You in the right direction. Welcome to another edition of the Grassi Perna Show. I'm Tom Grassi. That's Brandon Perna. And this is GPS. Boom. Nailed it. Crushed it. How you doing, buddy? Long time no see. It's been such a long time. I was just, I was just thinking when we stream the Thursday night games together. Yes. You know, they go late and then wake up and do uh gps mm -hmm. i spend more time with you than i do my family <laughs> you are my Same. family that's true that's true listen that's because here at gps we're family that's right and plus we watch football and stuff too uh yeah we're gonna talk a little bit about last night's game uh the big news coming out from this morning is that frank clark has been released so instead of being able to find a trade partner because they reduced his uh his salary right like they, they reduced like his contract hit so it'd be easier to trade well it turns out nobody wants him and so yep. we we're talking about the broncos being sellers but they're sellers to the free market rather to another team and i want to know brandon are you going to even notice at all that frank clark is not there no we won't notice that he's gone in terms of a production standpoint um they're getting they're getting production out of their young their young guys on the edge. So that's why Gregory's gone. That's why Frank yes. Clark is now gone. What's annoying is that they couldn't get anything for Frank Clark. Yeah. And I I think the tweet I read was after uh the Broncos and Cl Frank Clark couldn't find a mutually beneficial trade partner, they decided to release him. Um which is which I, I like when organizations give the player the flexibility, you know, when they're going to trade him and they just signed him. But in this situation for the, the, as bad as things are for the Broncos to one, why yes. did the Broncos, why did the Broncos have Frank Clark? Because they cut Brandon McManus to make room to sign a guy. They chose Frank Clark. Didn't really play him. And now they release him for nothing. No offense to Frank Clark, but I don't really give a shit where Frank Clark wants to go. If it's mutually beneficial, you get some compensation for it. Because I swear to God, he's just going to go back to Kansas City. He'll yeah. be there when they play again in two weeks. And he will be the guy that sacks Russell Wilson. Okay? You're going to let him choose where he wants to go now and get nothing? Nothing? I mean, we didn't get much for Randy Gregory. But like, give us something. We have we're in rebuild mode. We need as many draft picks. We need as much whatever as we can store in our stupid little plan for the future football bank. No, nope. instead we put in nothing. We're getting zero interest on a return, and in fact, we're just losing. We're hemorrhaging money. Luckily, we've got a lot of money, but uh, we need draft picks. So yeah, that's what is, is annoying about it is getting nothing in terms of how it affects the team irrelevant doesn't mm. like i would like to talk about the the things that frank clark contributed this season for the broncos and literally all i remember is him jumping off sides that's the only play i remember from frank clark off sides encroachment whatever that's all he contributed well i would say you would be worried about you know them giving up like frank clark telling the chiefs all the plays and stuff but 
the broadcast Amazon's doing that, that for us. For us. <laughs> like no respect, no respect. They really. It really, like, I wonder if this is going to be, like, an issue going forward. Like, they're going to have to set some, like, camera rules and be like, hey, like, yeah. you can't show this stuff. Because, like, this is literally, <laughs> like, that's their two-minute drills. That's their two-minute huddle calls, right? Red area. Yep. Like, <laughs> dude. Y shock X Harvey. Mm. X O Z doctor. Why, and then why is the O in uh, parentheses? Converse is literally a QB sneak, so that's good to know. Mm. Mm. Bingo, bingo. Allstate. We got an Allstate play? Holy it's crap. Hands. It's in good hands. No, we're Wait. not. We're in no hands. There's no. There's no hands holding this team up. I thought that was the Ravens receivers on Sunday, though. Ooh, that's nice. Sorry. I, we have to, like, try to make fun of some other team because it gets old just picking on the Broncos over and over again. Yeah. So, you know, it does. It does. But, I mean, listen – pronounced Olay. thank you thank you max mm. so where are you right now for uh denver are you just like i'm done Go nuggets baby come on avalanche let's <laughs> do it give me hockey goals right through the freaking three-pointers don't even don't i can't 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 do it mm -hmm. the simpsons have done everything they've done everything it's true but we don't have breadsticks um yeah so like Perna, are you done now? Like are you are you off the train? Like is it over over? Sadly, we can't get off. We can't get off the ride, Tom. No, what I mean for we're, you, we're no, trapped. the ride never ends, my friend. But I'm saying like <laughs> expectations now for the season. Oh, like yeah, yeah. was it like it's done? Like it's it cool. Was, it That's was it. done after we lost to the Jets. It was done after we lost to the Jets. Um But I think just seeing the defense give the Broncos a chance last night and the offense do literally nothing. Yeah. We're right back to where we were. Nothing's better. Nothing's fixed. You know, when, when the defense is playing really bad, but your offense is scoring points and kind of hanging in sure. games, you're like, Hey, you know, a couple plays might fall in the Broncos favor. Just don't see that happening this season. Now, a lot of people are saying that the Broncos are trying to tank and there's a clip back before or during, I, I don't remember. Sean Payton said Caleb Williams is the kind of quarterback that teams would tank for. He said that back in the sp early spring. Maybe. Um, maybe. But like in, in every team, I think their their fan base kind of does this when they're really bad. They're like, oh, we're tanking, we're tanking. Yeah. But like the it's Broncos like trying to justify, like, right. hey, no, no, no. We're like sucking on purpose. That's yeah. what it is. And <laughs> Either Sean Payton is terrible as a head coach, as an offensive head coach, or he truly is like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to give the team the best chance to win because a guy like Marvin Mims, who has been a huge bright spot on the, the offense all season, 29% of the snaps last night, 29% of the snaps from sure. one of your biggest receiving playmakers. Now, is that tanking or they were, were they trying to get Jerry Judy more looks so they can, so of his, trade his trade value i don't know well, a bit so, but that perna you and i have talked about this now numerous times and the expectation as a broncos fan heading into the season that if you were bad it was going to be because of one person and that was russell wilson now yep. russell wilson has not had back-to-back -back games have not been good for russell wilson right Correct. but i think you're also looking at this and be like before that it wasn't a russell wilson problem it was more of a defensive problem you could look at coaching. And now to answer that question, like, is Sean Payton the issue? And like, how do you even begin to evaluate that? Because they're like, all right, worst case scenario, it's a great QB class. It would suck. We'd have to take our lumps, but you know, we could draft a QB and we'd be fine. Yeah. But if Sean Payton is the problem, then it's like, oh crap. Did we just make two big trades in back-to-back -back seasons and none of them have panned out? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> I I mean, he, here's the thing. I, I don't think Sean Payton and Russell Wilson, I don't think that's the right marriage. Um, mm. I think we were hoping it could be, and it looked like it might be early, but those two, oil and water. Uh, I just don't think they're a personality fit. I don't think they're a scheme fit. We Even when we signed Sean Payton, we're like, Russell Wilson and Drew Brees are very, very different quarterbacks. And one of the first things Sean Payton so. 
One of the first things Peyton said about Russell Wilson was like, Drew Brees kept calling me and saying, you got to you gotta consider uh, Russ, Russell Wilson, because he's driving me crazy. Uh, like, so the, like the first thing he said to, about Russ was like this weird sort of like diss on him. You know what I mean? Mm. So do I think Sean Payton would be much better with a, a young quarterback that can kind of, he can kind of mold and, 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 and groom into his system? Yeah, I do. Do I trust Sean Payton Maybe. to fix what our defense is? Do I trust... His free agent eyeballs. Do I trust George Payton's free agent eyeballs? I don't know. I think George Payton, pretty good at drafting and evaluating draft talent. Sure. But I don't know what the Broncos are doing free agency. So to put it simply, I've got way more questions about this team for the rest of this season, for next season, even if they draft their quarterback. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's that's the ultimate issue because you, we, you and I talked about this last night about being a fan of a bad football team, right? And yeah. about things getting better. Now, the Broncos, the past two seasons, why there was so much optimism is because they thought you thought that they were taking the steps to get better. They make a blockbuster trade. First, they get Nathaniel Hackett, right, which is like the big coaching signing because he was the big coach that everybody wanted. You get Nathaniel Hackett. You go and you make a big trade for Russell Wilson. But Nathaniel Hackett doesn't even last a season. Then they're like, okay, never mind, never mind. This is the big guy. We're going to get Sean Payton out of retirement. We're going to get him. We're going to bring him in. And now we're here. Bless you. And Thank so, you. like, that's the frustrating part because you're like, crap, we already did this. And, like, there's similarities between, like, the Bears and the Broncos in that sense of, like, hey, it was, like, kind of promised, like, this season's going to be different. Yeah. And you could only believe that so many times where you're like, I just don't believe you no more. <laughs> Yeah. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Don't get fooled again. Right? Yeah, that's exactly how it goes. That's exactly how it goes. But I can see how that's frustrating. <laughs> and dude, like, I do want to bring up because I know it's going to be a lot of like crapping on the uh, Broncos. But is there again, divisional game. Is there something to be said? That. The Chiefs did still didn't look that great. Oh, there is. There is something to be said for their offense looks. Ooh. Uh, I'm, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I think they'll be okay. It's just, yeah. do, is that just going to take time to like gel? Because yeah. I think it's another like wide receiver. Rasheed Rice, I think definitely has a ton of potential. Like he, yeah. dude, he's fast as hell. Like they have the guy. It's just like it was a weird night for them. It they was got a two lot of weird fast offenses. Fast, but nobody is fast as Tyreek Hill, right? It's true. Um she races fast though. Yeah. Here's what yeah, like I think the Chiefs will figure it out. Uh during our postgame podcast, Will uh Keys said uh he thinks the Chiefs are just guaranteed to trade for a receiver before the the trade deadline um i think that's probably still a possibility but here's what I, I wanted to mention because the chiefs did they ran three designed trick plays and it turns out the travis kelsey trick play was just kelsey freelancing mm -hmm. patrick mahomes in the post game was like no that's just travis kelsey like he's like he does that shit in practice all the time and and laughs and that's just him we did not design it that way we can't control travis kelsey is basically what he said yeah. um but they ran three like trick plays against the Broncos and like none of them worked. Kadarius yeah. Tony throwing the football, Kadarius Tony playing quarterback, running the read option and a fake field goal. So the, in the, in, in the NFL and I think just sports in general, but we'll just keep it to the NFL here. The, the line, the, the line between being a genius head coach and a fucking moron, Tom is this thin. It is this thin, okay? Because Andy Reid last night, those were not good play calls, in, in my opinion. Like, maybe one of them, you know, you, you do it. But to do it three times against one of the worst defenses in the league and not succeed, luckily, you're playing a bad team. You still won the game, so nobody's talking about it. Yeah. But if that were any other coach in any other game and their team doesn't win, that guy is getting crucified. And I think Andy Reid's the best head coach in football. I really do. But I think when when everything's not working, when your offense is not putting up, you know, 
30 plus points every single game, 35, 40 points, and you do those things and they don't work, they look silly. Like the whole Chiefs merry-go-round or duck duck goose yeah. BS that they did last year, everybody like <laughs> the snow it. globe. Yeah, because they're winning. So like I just want to say if like Sean Payton was doing that stuff last night. Oh god, yeah. He'd be like he's already in hot water because of the uh timeout he called after <laughs> the Broncos don't convert. Yes. And it allowed know. the Chiefs to kick a 60-yard field goal right Correct. before halftime. So like I, I just think there's there's no – there are very good head coaches, but all very good head coaches are reliant on having a very good uh, quarterback. And they're all human. They're all – they all have flaws. None of them are perfect. Mm, and the Chiefs fair. running those plays, it just seemed dumb last night because I felt like they could have just beat the Broncos by running right at them. Just doing the basic stuff. And when you can just do the basic stuff and win, you don't need that other that other. save it for a game where you need like a, a change of momentum. But you know. Okay. That's just like Did you feel like get it out? Did you get it out? I've seen I've seen what it's like on the other side where everything is bad and everything goes wrong and your team is like just under the microscope for it. Um and then when you see good teams do it and they get a pass, you're just like why do they get a pass? Oh, yeah, because they figure out ways to make up for it in the game. Yeah, I don't and, think Russell Wilson's uh, going to the Hall of Fame. He's good. I don't. I don't think he's going to. But I could be wrong, but I don't think he's going to go. Um, the craziest thing that could happen before the trade deadline is Russell Wilson moves. They trade Russell Wilson. That won't happen, but I'm saying the craziest thing. That yeah, I don't happen. know who would take him. With that contract? Atlanta, baby. Go to, go to Atlanta. With that contract? There's no way. Well, we would pay probably for like 70% of it. <laughs> Make a new, 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 new. <laughs> if the Broncos, if the Broncos do beat the Packers, uh, Tom, that is, you could all yours. <laughs> I'll take the new, 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 yeah. new, 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 Moniker. Kermit! Whoop! Fitty with the kitty. Dude. There I, you go, Kermit. Yeah. That's just, you're going to get. You're going to get it. It's sorry. Yeah. And it's see. funny because Tony scored their only touchdown last night, too. I know they always try and beat me up to the cheeseburger stand. It's going to get some usage. I appreciate yeah. you. Kermit me, Holmes. Um, yeah, it's just, again, the Chiefs are a weird team this year. Like, they're they're trying to like gel. And it is also Matt Nagy now as the offensive coordinator, which, like, you know, it's not. The enemy was the system. Know. No, it's not not ideal. Party you got a hundo. Oh, Robert. The mistakes mm. this organ organization will make is believing the blow up should only be players. The blow up must include GM and couch. Couch. Ooh. If there's a play, if there's a couch in there, I, did yeah. we see a couch when we toured? Because we got to get rid of that couch. Because it turns out couch? the couch is the devil. Also waiting on eight bit shirt and F the refs coffee. Thank you, Robert. You're giving me too much of your hard earned money. Also, also, could I please get the Bengal meow? Got to laugh at something. Oh, I got him. I got him for the Bengals. Your request meow. is our, our, you, it's coming, Robert. Meow. Mm. Meow. There it is. Sexy. I haven't seen that one for a while. No, I was about to say that we haven't pulled that one out in a while. So yeah. I don't I don't drink coffee. Yeah. Tom don't I was it. like part of it years ago. Part of it was like, hey man, so I have a coffee company. Like, do you want do I was like, I'll drink coffee. <laughs> and that's why Tom's tea bags. We did them. Thing. We sold all of them. Every single tea bag gone. Maybe they were trying to just impress Taylor Swift. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was know. that's what was frustrating. Ooh, good call. I didn't think they were gonna win that game. But then they kept it close. Mm. And then we lost again. So. Ah, Tim Couch. Yes, Tim Couch. Oh, we'll take Timmy Couch. He's our um, new head coach. Yeah. So that, and then Jerry Judy, after those comments that Steve Smith made, was just like, I don't remember that. I don't remember. Yeah. It just seems like nobody's happy in Denver right now. No? True. I mean, Nuggets and Avalanche fans are, but yeah, uh, other than I that, you're right. The, I meant players on the Broncos team right now. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm like, trying to divert. Let's get to another thing. Let's yeah, you do just try something. to sell. Just try to sell everything that um, you possibly can. What was um, I going to say? Steve Smith, Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy. 
Like, dude, even if he gets moved, like, what are you guys going to get for him? A third, maybe a fourth? Like, first rounder, baby. You're not getting a first rounder. You're not. I can be. Oh, this is what I wanted to say, right? All right. So here's how bad everything is. Let's They're going to win the division, so they don't have to gel until January, to be honest. So Jerry Judy, Broncos take him in the first mm. round uh, a few years ago, right? Only, only receiver that went ahead of him, I believe, was Henry Ruggs. Judy, then it was CeeDee Lamb, then Jalen Rieger, and uh, Justin Jefferson. Yes. Okay? Justin Jefferson draft. You know very, you know Justin Jefferson. We had Micah Hyde. We were never utilizing the right way. We were never going to pay him. That one doesn't upset me. Yeah. You know Justin Jefferson. So, George Payton, Broncos GM, under, under fire. People are not happy with George Payton because of, you know, Randy Gregory, Frank Clark, like all of these free agent acquisitions that don't seem to be working. But what I said was, I think George Payton, he comes for, he's a, he's a scout. He came up through the scouting ranks. I think yeah. he's got a great eye for college talent. And the, the most perfect explanation of how F things are for us. John Elway was still the GM, technically, when we drafted Jerry Judy. So that was under John Elway's watch. Right. And we're about to trade Jerry Judy. And so some people out there kind of forget and they want to say, like, George Payton drafted him. It's a bust. No, 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 no. George Payton was still in Minnesota. George Payton drafted Justin Jefferson after the Broncos drafted Jerry Judy. Now we've got the guy that was smart enough to pick Justin Jefferson, but we also got the guy who we don't think knows how to make any sort of correct free agent move. And now we're moving Jerry Judy while blaming George Payton for drafting Jerry Judy, even though John Elway actually drafted Jerry Judy. Well, that's where we're sitting. That's how messy it is, Tom. But George Payton is under fire for the Russell Wilson trade. Like, that's why, like, he got... No, I know. That's yeah. like, yeah. No, but I understand. you. But, but it's what I said yesterday, too. Like, people are blaming Russell Wilson in the first, the first beginning of the season. And it wasn't yeah. even Russell Wilson's fault. But, like, that's the go-to of, like, oh, we were blaming him all last year. Then it must be his problem again. Yeah. Like, that's the, the scary thing is that everything has gone wrong. And Russell Wilson was the face of it. Nathaniel Hackett... Then it was inexcusable, and they're like, all right, well, we got to get rid of him. And now it's like, well, now who do we look at? And it just seems like, well, it's the O-line, it's the defense, it's Van, it's Joseph, it's Russell Wilson, it's Sean Payton, it's Jerry Judy, it's all these people, right? And you're just like, crap, yeah. cool. Like, I just want to see, like, my bright spots. Because, again, if you're saying, all right, we're going to burn it down again, but here's who we're going to build it around, that's why I don't think they're trading Sertan. Like, and, no. again, like, you have talented players, it's just like I, where do you? I mean, they begin? might trade Sertan if they get two first round picks for him. Yeah, I just don't think anyone's going to offer that. To be honest, I don't know. Jamal Adams got it. I think Jalen Ramsey mm -hmm. got something close. So you never know. <laughs> like we don't think somebody would, but you just never know. Like if um, you're the Panthers, like you could, like I could see them being like, "Hey, I'll give you a third rounder for Jerry Judy." I can see them turning around doing that. Panthers might give more. Um, they 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 have a second round pick that is the first pick in the second round. I know, which I don't think they would trade. That might do it for Jerry Judy. But like like we said last night, Steve Smith said if a team calls him and asks for a recommendation on Jerry Judy, he's gonna tell him no. What team did he play for? The Panthers and the Ravens. Ravens ain't calling. They've they've got a bunch of receivers who can't catch right now. So uh, true. They're just gonna figure that out. But the Panthers might call him. I do want to see the Panthers call him, and I want that telephone call aired live. And honestly, I, I tweeted this. I want to pay Steve Smith to roast me. I want that man He's to good. roast me. And I said I want him to come spend a week with me, live with me for a week, so he has really good material to just eviscerate me. Yeah. I like yeah. the way he talks trash. I think it's hilarious. He's good at it. I think the way he – how serious he is when he does it, I want him to get me. I want to get got by Steve Smith. Hey, Steve Smith, you suck, idiot. Come roast me, buddy. It was 28-3. You were too short to be elite. Come roast me, Steve. <laughs> He's gonna be like, you need to ice up. I always like Steve Smith because he was 5'10", and out, out there just bawling as a receiver. I think they would trade Judy to KC because that would be reflective on maybe how much they think he's going to help the Chiefs. If they turn around and trade him to Kansas City, they're like, no, no, yeah, you take him. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah have him. I mean, yeah, we're only him. getting a late first rounder at best if we straight him there. Straight him there. Trade him there. Dude, I, I, 
I love you. I don't know who you've been talking to to think that you're going to get a first rounder for Jerry Judy. This is uh, like the Derek Carr situation where you thought that he was going to get all this stuff. I'm like, no, he's not. You lost that bet too. He got released. We're getting a first rounder for Jerry. The value is not there. Second at worst. <laughs> See, here's the thing though. Like a team that needs, needs that. They might just huh? give it up. Patriots, we'll take their first round pick. <laughs> Hey, you know what? The Bears, they got Chase Claypool. You know, maybe they'll trade a second round pick again for <laughs> Jerry Judy. That's right. That was a Fine. second rounder for Chase. And Jerry's better than Chase Claypool. Okay. 20. Ooh, so four more. It's too far ahead, yeah. but it is very possible. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. It's true. It's true. All right. Yeah, but Tyree Kill plays like he's 6'3. He's also Tyreek right. Hill and Steve Smith are so two fast. exceptions in terms of short receivers it's who true. play all over the field. Other exactly. short guys, you're talking about slot machines, okay? It's true. So height is important for receivers unless you're incredibly athletically gifted. Then you're like, hey, who cares? Then we're yeah. good. Then we're good. Uh, do we want to jump into power rankings, my good sir? Ah, oh, yes. Or we preview some games. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sertan would be, again, Sertan would be, but that would be premium picks. Like, you ha would have to yeah. trade premium picks for Sertan. And then, like, there's the Broncos, you're like, we are starting over from scratch. Mm -hmm. There's four guys that could go. Justin Simmons, Jerry Judy, Pat Sertan, I don't think, and Cortland Sutton. I don't think both Sutton and Judy go, but probably one of them. Justin Simmons uh, played very well last night against the, the Chiefs. Mm. And I said, I want to see Justin Simmons uh, go to a team like the Detroit Lions. No, thank you. Mm. No. Throw Justin Simmons back there, baby. No. He's going to make you unstoppable. My prediction is True. the Eagles find a way to get him. They just always find a way to get who they want, mm. and he would make them dangerous. Probably would look very interesting with that. I'm shaving my eyebrows, Charlie. Bad mm. takes. There would sure. be no eyebrows in sports media if you had to shave your eyebrows for bad takes. <laughs> All right. Let me take a look at this. What do we got? Right. What do we mm -mm, got? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Power ranks. What is Philly fan at one and a half? Hmm? What is Philly fan at one and a half? Oh, Philly fan? Might be. He might be. What? It's, what, what? Uh, oh, the Philly fan. So, what the heck? What? What is that? Oh, that's why. Okay, sorry. Um, Philly fan, there's an Eagles fan who snuck into the Eagles locker room after the game to interview A.J. Brown. I... And I said, I respect that man. <laughs> Also, I think he snuck into the locker room just to take a, a peek at all of the players' penises. So, respect for the guy who just wants to see some dong. Some good old-fashioned, ooh, dong. That's the donger award. But yeah, I didn't have a good 1.5, so I gave it to a fan this week. Um, I noticed you kept the Cowboys at 10. Yeah. I think that's crazy. I took I was, him off. I said, you're out of here. Dallas. I was going to, but it was such a weird week. And like, it was, yeah. I just, I kept him on there. And I was like, you guys lose to the chargers. Then you're in hell. The, yeah. I love how the Jaguars is like sitting in like the Colt logo. Yeah. Well, they were both at 10 there, you know? Why so, do you have them at 10? Because. Why are the Steelers uh, at seven? Yeah. Oh my God. Now I'm actually starting to look at this here. Perna, yeah. what is this? Dude, the Steelers beat the Ravens. I had the Ravens at four last week. That's 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 on you. That's not Jags my and Colts. Exact same record. Okay, they play each other this week. The Jaguars beat the Bills. That's a pretty impressive so? win. Yeah, they. Oh yeah, it was, you had them in the your Bills top because everybody last got week. hurt. Everybody got hurt. Look, I need the Jags to prove no, 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 that no, they're no. good. No, 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 no. I'm not letting you gaslight me. I am not going to let you use the logic for one thing and then use that same logic to then dispute yourself. There's what? no way. There's what no way, Brandon. About? Okay, 
Let's take a look at this power ranking. Oh, that's the hey, that's sheet. stop giving my plays away. <laughs> okay, you just said right that the Ravens were really high for you. They only went down one after losing. The Bills are still at six, and the Jaguars just beat them. So explain to me with the same logic that you just used as why the Steelers are higher than the Ravens that the Jaguars are at ten and they're not above the Bills right now. The Ravens were at four, so that's why they go all the way to. Where eight were the Bills the last Steelers. week? Where were the Bills? Uh, I think they're like at three, two or three, maybe. Okay, so a, even worse, <laughs> even worse. No, why are the no, no, Steelers? No, no. So at, I still think the Bills are a better team than the Jaguars. Sure, did Jacksonville beat them? Yes, yes, they did. But everything went wrong for the Bills. They had to travel to London. Jacksonville got to stay there a week. There are a bunch of bad injuries in that game. I still have concerns about the Bills' injuries moving forward. But I just, I, I'm going to bet on Josh Allen every time over Trevor Lawrence until proven wrong. Until proven wrong. Plus, so who do the Bills play this week? Who does Buffalo play this They're week? They're playing the Giants, dude, on Sunday. Yes. Night football. So the Giants, they're going to look amazing again. They're going to look like the best team on earth again. Well, uh, it's a bye week, so I couldn't put the Seahawks on there. I couldn't put the Buccaneers on there. I couldn't put the Chargers on there okay. or least, the Browns. At least you stood with that. Now, I did. I did. Tom. You're going to forget next week, <laughs> but I'm glad that you're sticking with that at least. So that gives me some hope and optimism. So that's, that is something. A normal yeah. power ranking, I'm not even going to know what to do with myself. Boom. All right, so Justin, Justin, you said heaven was replaced, that they need healing. Why is Justin Fields in heaven? He did well. No, well, see, I put Justin, I put Justin Fields uh, and his deep ball in heaven because he's been perfect with it, and I want to protect his deep passing. Also, the, 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 the Bears lost all three of their running backs, so they do need a little healing. But they that's do the need Bears. a little healing. That's not Justin Fields. Yeah, but look, I got to the I got to the running backs, but it's Justin Fields' deep ball that needs protection because he's been perfect. Nobody's talking about how well he's been passing. He's also been pretty almost perfect in the red zone passing as well. So I'm I'm protecting Justin Fields there. I put your Packers in hell. That, that see, I, didn't, I didn't question that. That one I didn't yeah. question. Because Seahawks were on a by lines, look more dominant right now. So that's why. And the, that win was like so long ago. It was so long. Team that let me down the most, Green Bay. Losing no. to the Raiders. No, 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 no. You specifically asked for the Packers to lose well, to help the Broncos. So don't say let you down. Yeah. Nay, nay, nay. Stick with it. Did you want us to suck or did you want us to do well? Because we did one of those things, which is what you asked for. It's not what I asked for, but you, what you asked for. Well. I like to change my mind a lot, Tom. And going into that game, I wanted the Raiders to win so we could etch ourselves higher in the a draft. Afterwards, I didn't like the way it felt watching the Raiders win. Didn't like the way it felt. Today, after the Broncos lose to the, the Chiefs, I'm very confident we don't need anybody's help to be and finish in the first or second pick for the draft. So I don't need your help anymore. My team will suck on its own. We will suck on the teat of the tank until we get to pick one or two. And honestly, that's all that I can look forward to. April. April showers wash away my pain. Look, we got one and two the same. <laughs> Flip-flop three and four. Got Chiefs at five. So that's actually pretty good. That's it's actually the, pretty good. It's the six through ten where we have... Nothing the same except the Jaguars and kind of the Colts you have there, too. Yeah, well, I got the Bills at six. You got them at seven. That's really not that big of a difference. I That's couldn't true. put the Seahawks on mine because they're on a bye. So, you know. Wait a minute. What one spot? No, he just put the Chargers up there. I don't know why he did. He put the Chargers next to my name for some reason. I don't oh, know why. I don't know why I he actually did. Only forgot to, I just forgot to delete that. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm, just I'm not having two. I might shout out some honorable mentions, but no, it is one team per number. Oh, That's got it. Rules with my power rankings. Uh, I rule. 
rules. There is no logic. There is no logic. There's logic. That's why you haven't won one. You know that, right? That's why you haven't won a pick em. Because you're like, oh, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, sure. That'll be the... You never pick against Travis Kelsey. Ever. I thought 15.5 was high because I thought the Chiefs would just run the ball down the Broncos' throat. I'm not a boomer. I'm not a freaking boomer. You're a boomer. Freaking boomer. Speaking of underdog, my favorite <laughs> freaking company in the world right now at this very moment. Uh, I don't know. All right. I don't know why I ain't, I ain't got the NFL picks yet. Okay? So I'm going college football for underdog. Now, if you want to sign up no at problem. underdog, you can do it with our code GPS with, with this, little, this little thing right here. QR code. Link in the description, code GPS. They'll match your first deposit up to $500. That's a lot of cheddar, a lot of green, a lot of cash, a lot of skrilla, a lot of coin, a lot of money that they're going to match just by using our code. Brandon, maybe you should do a pickup in college, like right here. Maybe you're going to have better. Maybe you just That's can't why do I'm NFL. going. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so we got Shadur Sanders right here. See you, Buffalo. Son of Dion. Prime time. Check my watch. What time is it? Don't know. Can't read standard clocks. But 28 fantasy points for Shadour? Who are we playing? Oh, my God. That seems like a lot. I'm going to go lower. That just seems too high. Um, Jimmy Horn. I'm going to go higher. I like Jimmy Horn. Weaver. Ooh. He is not Garrett so Schrader. I don't, there's so many guys I don't know. Kyle McCord. Marvin Harrison's good. Ooh, yeah. Give me higher on Marvy. And let's just, ooh, Cornelius. Higher. Always take higher on a man named Cornelius. No, the answer is no, Raphael. You never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> no. I'm going to do 55 on this, and I'm going to submit it. Confirm. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got to pick a different team. All right. So Ooh. I'll go I'll take Jimmy <laughs> Horn off there. Bo Nix. Bo Nix. That's a cool name. Against Washington. Hmm. We'll go higher on Bo. Possible future Broncos quarterback. Boom. Nailed it. Is that easy? This is going to be the first one I win. You've said and that for the rest of the week. year. I'm only doing college. You've said that every week. <laughs> I will be a winner. Somebody let me win something somewhere. Here's the sexy disclaimer. Ooh. You know what? I entered the underdog hundred thousand dollar Sunday. Um, I feel like I might just win that because uh, you pick the hundred thousand dollar player. You make him part of your pick em. You don't even have to win the pick em. So that's why I got a chance to actually win the $100,000, Tom, because I don't have to win my pick -em. So just keep your eye open for the $100,000 Sunday player. Put that player in your pick -em lineup. Make your picks. You don't even have to win. You can win $100,000. Daniel Jones officially out, by the way. With the neck injury, huh? Yes. Yes. Hold on. Um, I do want to see in best, like the ones that we did, I am in first place in one of our drafts, second place in another, second place in another, first in another. Not bad. There you go. Suck it, Brandon. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. All I'm going to say. I'm doing That's a true. pretty good job in the, the best ball drafts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come man, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, God. Honestly, too late? that would be pretty great. Yeah, you already picked higher on. You picked lower on Sanders. Kame was saying yeah, go higher. Lower. That was a 28. 28 a lot, man. We'll see. Jonathan, just don't remind him. It, yeah, the the Broncos are not getting the first or second pick likely, but it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It is. Uh, they don't have the fantasy, though. The, yeah, the higher lower stuff is a lot of fun. The pickums uh, are fun. The fantasy, the fantasy games are fun. You can you can make private drafts every week. You can play play in those. Uh, we you can share those drafts season. with your friends, so you can play just against your friends. Um, 
you know, like 10 buck entries. Those are fun to do just for the week. You know, don't, you're not don't. attached to that the whole season. I don't even care. All right. Those are those power rankings. Now uh, you see where Brett got the came Chiefs from. down at nine. Wow. 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 Yes. Wow, wow. Yeah. Cause they didn't look great. Oh, wait, these are old. <laughs> wait, yeah, that's the old one. What are you talking about? I was like, wait a minute. No, they're five. That was yeah. week two. Dan, I'm going to delete week two. that. Yep. Delete that. How things change. Yeah. How things change. Okay, here's a question for you. But Because I, I put the Bengals and the Saints at 11. I and that. I said, those are two teams that just confuse me. So usually 11 is like teams I think that are about to get in or they're close. And the Bengals and Saints kind of fall into that, but I don't know whether either of those teams are good or bad. Yeah. The if Bengals, you had to bet on one to be good, Tom, who are you taking? I like the Bengals' outlook more just because I feel like once the Saints play against good teams, it's going to be tough Like, because I just don't trust Pete Carmichael at all. Um, but the it's going to be a great test because the Bengals are playing the Seahawks this week, mm -hmm. and that should be a really good game. Like, Let's see how good the Seahawks' defense is, and let's see if that offense is really getting better because it was the Jamar Chase show last week against the Cardinals. So. Yeah, and there's already some some nice uh, drama there because uh, DK Metcalf said Devin Witherspoon was going to shut down Jamar Chase, and then Jamar Chase like reposted it. So we're 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 gonna find out. I think I picked the the Seahawks in my pick 'em for that one. Um, I need to see the I need to see the Bengals do it against you know a legit well rounded team, and I think Seattle is that right now. First oh, child, first let's go, kid? baby, let's go. Bears fan and Cowboys fan. Oh God, no, please. Oh. Just give your daughter free will. Just please don't, don't, because both of those are such bad options. But congratulations yeah. to you and the fam. There you go. Welcome That's to awesome. hell, buddy. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Listen, it's the best hell you'll ever experience. But whoa, your life about to get crazy. So no, I do curse it. I do curse primetime games. I am. You do. I am. You are. I, because I, I stream them and they're bad. And last they're, year was the first year you decided to do every single primetime game. Every primetime game. Yeah, and they were almost all yeah. were bad. Yeah. All of them. The one that I hyped up the most too, Bengals and Bills. Yeah. And I was like, I am never hyping up a game ever again. Though I did say the, the 49ers game and Cowboys game. It was supposed to be good. Yeah. I also said the 49ers. Eagles game was going to be really good for the NFC championship game. Maybe I just need to stop talking. The NFL really needs to figure out how to make the Thursday night games exclusively games that are for teams going are coming out of the bye. Ooh. Yeah. I, I can't imagine how tricky that's going to be though. Like that would be such a pain in the ass to try and schedule. AI can do it. I know it, mm. but like, and I know it would technically make your bye week probably it would make it shorter, right? Because you're coming yes. back a little bit earlier, but then you get the 10 days rest after that. I feel like Correct. it would provide for better games on Thursday night. I because last night wasn't a good game. Prada, yeah, do predictions. They're not fun. No, I've I just killed that uh, a couple of years ago. I was doing predictions as well. I'm like, F this. Nothing. Cut nothing, the nothing. Jaguars and the Colts. Oh, Jesus, Perna. Oh, yeah, because it went to 10. It went to 10. And they play each other. So I'm like, this doesn't even make sense, Curse Wheel. But one team will lose, so it's guaranteed to work. Oh, it's Gardner Minshew versus Trevor Lawrence. Nobody's even talking about it. This is a revenge game for Gardner Minshew. Formally going against this old you. team. And I said, if if the Jaguars lose that game... Jags fans got to go back and watch my video where I said the Jags should trade the number one pick and keep Gardner Minshew as their starting quarterback. Not wrong. Can't play defense. They can't play defense. So yeah, well, you got you got to start somewhere. I'm not even gonna say it. I, even in predictions. I'm gonna say just be like it could be a good game. Yeah. <laughs> you know why yeah. I want Caleb Williams? Because he'll be better than fucking Russell Wilson. That's why. And you got, if you hit on Caleb Williams, you got a quarterback for the next 10, 15 years. Or if you don't develop him the right way, then you just wasted it again. No, if we don't develop him the right way, uh, we just trade him to a team that knows they can. We did him, but we did over. get them lots of subscribers. We did, we did do that. We did do that. Yeah, we pay Kurt Binkert a million dollars every year. 
At least I, I do. Do you pay him? No. Do you still he, pay him? He said he was my friend and he was just, he was going to come on. And do it, so. Oh, no. He demanded money from me. That makes sense. Actually, Kurt, <laughs> he texted me. When was it? Was it last night or this morning? 701. Wait, does that mean? It was late. When the fuck? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 1 35 a.m. Kurt texts me. Booty call, Kurt. But it was a it was a joke about Broncos country riding. <laughs> Excellent. Well, he's in Hawaii too, so yeah. the time uh, difference yeah. is a little is different. Okay, off. fair yeah. enough. Yeah, well, we gotta get Kurt back on the show one of these days. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was texting him the other day. Yes. Oh, oh, it's a it's a JFK Broncos riding joke. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to preview some games? Yeah, there's some games this weekend, huh? Good. He he could. He definitely could. He he he's not. He doesn't suck. But guess what? If not you don't right take now, a chance on a quarterback on uniform. and you got the chance to, I think Drake May might be a better fit with Sean Payton. Honestly, if we're just sitting at two, mm. I'll I'll take it. Oh, it's gonna be zero zero. Yeah. Do you want to pull up the games? Yeah, let me get the games. I can do it if you want. No, I got them, Tom. Okay, just trying. Tom, to I got the games. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a tie like this forever. All right. <laughs> okay, let's attach the pickums here, Tommy Grassi. Uh, I picked the Chiefs to win last <laughs> night, so I am a hundred. <laughs> Look at the two percent who took the Broncos. Two percent were seven. wrong. Six or seven, I think. I'll call you guys milk. You got milked. All right. Ravens, Titans. Kind of a tricky game to pick. 85% going with Baltimore. Shouldn't be that high, but uh, I like the Ravens over the Titans. Yeah, I picked the same. I, do, I just don't think they'll drop a kajillion catch it like balls again. So yeah, that seems like an outlier, right? Um, That, but again, and I'm saying this as someone who does his absolute best. I don't know what the hell the Titans are. I don't know. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're bad. I don't know if they're both. I like every single week. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, so we had a good draft this year. All right. We had a good draft. We had a good draft. Are there only two teams on bye weeks? It's this the 49ers one? fan. It's, yes, it's the Steelers and Packers. Uh, yeah, so there's 15 games. It is the 49ers right now, though. Yeah. I think the, the surprise about like those Ravens drops were Mark Andrews had two. So, like, mm. that's, I don't think that happens again. Um, all smart fly out. Oh, yeah. It's the London game. Yeah. It's being played in London. Is it London or is it Germany? Where are they? Germany, I think, is. Is that next week? No, I think it's in a couple weeks. I think I could uh, be wrong. I don't know. There's man. too many. 7 a.m. Uh, I saw that. Yep. Deshaun Watson's officially out. My man was like, yeah, no, my, he saw the schedule, the 49er. He's like, yep, nope, shoulder still hurt. Nope, 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 yeah. nope, 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 nope. He's like, oh, nice. I can't get any massages to fix this. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be out for a long time then. Sad sack of shit, Deshaun Watson. And I don't think, I think it's uh, Walker. Isn't PJ Walker playing instead of DTR? I don't know if it's DTR. I I'd have to check and see who's going to definitely be in. But. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate Deshaun Watson. All right. Falcons, Commanders. I took a hot Lana, baby. I did too. You, you don't call him hot Lana, though. But yes. I know. Every, every time I say it, people say, don't say that. That's the, what's the one you don't. It's just the only one you don't. Yeah. Commanders, I think we'll have a bounce back game. Like, I would not be surprised if they win. But Desmond Ritter is undefeated right now. He's undefeated at home. At home. <laughs> I had a, at home. Yeah. Chiefs, Dolphins. That's Germany. There you go. Mm. That's that's actually gonna be a that's really a good, good game. game. I'm excited. That be a good game. You know what? Never mind. It could be a game. I don't. I don't want to be that guy now. I don't want to be that guy. Ooh, you. So you did pick the Bears. I was really close to picking them. I picked the Vikings. I know they don't have Jefferson, but yeah, I know. I know. We're because we're going with momentum right now, and you're like maybe the Bears figured it out. But I think that might have been like the last gasp of hope before you know it's ripped away from their fans once again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like what the bears are putting together. Um, cause two good weeks, even though they lost against the Broncos, but yeah. And see, it's kind of a win win here for me as a Broncos fan, because the bears and Vikings are hovering right around the Broncos, uh, for that yeah. number two pick right now. 
So either way, it's good. But I think the Bears are figuring something out. And I think the Justin Jefferson loss is is going to be big. If, if Minnesota were running the football, like effectively, maybe I'd go there. But at home, Soldier Field, let's do it, Chicago. Don't don't feel good about it. I feel like this is a 50-50 game to me. But Yeah, I agree with that. This is one of the games of the week. Yeah, like I took I, Seattle. I, I I did pick the Bengals because I just think that maybe they're going to start to find a rhythm as being played in Cincinnati. But I'm very like I'm very curious to see how that secondary yeah. does. Like I'm I'm curious. Like let's see how for real the Seahawks are. Yeah, that you took the words out of my mouth. It's like is the Bengals uh, passing game back? Is that going to be for real, or is the Seahawks secondary that good? Exactly. Um, we'll see. Should be fun. It's- it's going to be fun, though. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, Jamal Adams is able to play uh, longer than just a couple plays. Um, I'm trying. Uh, it's 49ers. 49ers. This was easy. That, even, if they're, even if Watson were playing, uh, Niners, Dolphins. That is true. That is true, Z. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Dude. 2% took the Broncos over the Chiefs, but only 1% <laughs> believe the Panthers can beat the Dolphins. Holy crap. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So we know the Dolphins are going to win. Um, if Chase Claypool is active, Tom, does he make a single catch in this game? Higher, or lower, Chase Claypool one catch. Uh, I think lower. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get oh. a catch. Okay. Okay. Colts Jaguars. I took it. I took Indy. I'm on the Gardner Minshew train. I'm on Dude, Indy's. Indy can't ball. win in Jacksonville. Yeah, they can. They can with Gardner Minshew. Mm. He was born in Duval. This is where he was birthed. This is where he was NFL. made. Yeah. This is where he was made. Yeah. All right. And nobody's That's- talking about the fact that the Jags had to come back from London. Back from London. Okay. I like. I like the Colts defense. That's why. I see. I like the Jaguars defense. What they did against the too. Bills. So, but, yeah. And let's see if Jonathan Taylor or it's gonna be the Zach Moss show again. A mm, little bit of both. Uh, I picked the Texans also. I'm surprised it's so lopsided. Yeah, I think because the Saints. It's because the Texans lost though. They lost against the Falcons, and that's why. Because you see that a lot. Like anytime a team loses, like the wait, you picked the Patriots too. So did I. <laughs> Look at us. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm starting to get in the headspace of oh, Brandon. My power oh, rankings no, are so no. crazy, I but was... we actually think the same about the teams, Tommy boy. <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, we'll get huh. to the Patriots here in yeah. a second. <laughs> we'll get there. The Saints just destroyed the Patriots, so I think that's why people are high on the Saints. Right? Yes. I just think the the Texans overall, they're just a better football team. So, I do too. I think again the real thing is going to be Stroud against that Saints defense. But I I like the Texans here. I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints won. But I do like the Texans here. I think Stroud's going to continue to play well. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the interesting one. Yeah. So I picked the Patriots because yes, have they gotten blown out two weeks in a row? Absolutely. However. Josh McDaniels, Bill Belichick. I feel like Bill Belichick is going to be like, dude, I don't care if we don't win anything else. Like, I want to destroy this man. One. And of course, they want to win every week. That's not a real thing. Real thing is, though, is besides Max Crosby, who the Packers couldn't stop, like, I think the Patriots should be able to move the football. Yeah. They should. So I I do like the Patriots here. I don't think there's going to be much of a home field advantage. So I, I pick the Patriots in a shocker. Yeah, I don't think the Patriots are good, but I think they will have the right game plan for Josh McDaniels, for the Raiders. It's just like, and I think like Josh is going to want to impress his former coach, you know, mm. and he's just not. Last year, and remember how um, the, the Pats lost to the Raiders last year. The One of the worst final plays by any team. Chandler Jones, stiff arm, Mac Jones into the, the turf. Chandler's not even act. He's not even a Raider anymore. Um, Mac Jones has been way worse though. So really the, the Patriots just need Mac Jones to kind of step it up 
He has no O-line. Football. They have no run game. They have no weapons. Yeah. Like, I don't believe in the Patriots offense. I just, like, the Raiders, the Raiders, who are not good, beat us, who we're not good. So, like, I'm just thinking yeah. maybe the Patriots aren't as bad as they've looked the past two weeks. Or I could be yeah. wrong. I mean, I can talk. No, I, I, I think that's totally fair. I went with the Lions over the Bucks. This I one was too. tough. It should be closer. And in and Tampa. Sam Laporta not pl- might not play or is not playing. Yeah, I don't think he's playing. Yeah. But Detroit, like, they were out a couple key guys last week. They are fine. Um, I think we're going to get a better gauge of where the Lions' offense really is against Tampa's defense. So, I agree. I agree with that. Um, but, like, what I, I – I like Baker Mayfield. I like the fact that they're playing well. I like the fact that we're not talking about the the Bucks trading Mike Evans because uh, they're just bad. So there's this could be a really fun game. I, know, I, I, I like that game. It's gonna be. I I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna try to stream it. Rams should win this, but I think it's gonna be a close game. I think a divisional matchup too. Like the Cardinals kept it close for a little bit with the 49ers. I think they will. Yeah, they. They they did. So, I think Rams should win. Eagles, they should win. I am curious to see, though, because that offense, again, not, not fully gelling. They're good. Like, they're good. Don't get me wrong. I'm curious to see them against, like, a really good defense. I think they get the win. But, yeah. dude, Jalen Carter and AVT's out for the year for the Jets. My God, that D-line is going to eat Zach Wilson alive. <laughs> we might see Zach Wilson decide to never play football again after going uh, against that Eagles front. You might just be like, you know what, guys? This this game's not for me anymore. I'm out, guys. I'm, I'm out. This game, and now, so hold on, because it's not just Daniel Jones, because I just retweeted it, too. It's Daniel Jones who is out, right? Andrew Wallet. Thomas, their left tackle. John Michael, their center. <laughs> Matt Peart, who's their other offensive tackle. And Ojolari is also out. Dude, yeah. like, this is going to be, and it's in Buffalo, yeah, this is going to be a massacre on Sunday Night Football, and I do not know why they did not flex this out last week. And Tarod Taylor going against his old team, the Bills. Oh, oh poor Tarod. Oh, now, if he's going to wish lose, you were a Charger again, so that the doctor could stab him in the fucking lungs with a pain-killing injection, so he doesn't have to play in this game. Now, by accident, I, I so I picked the Bills to win, but by accident, the check mark showed up with the Giants. So I could look like a prophet here. Oh, you just left it? I could look like a prophet. I wow. did pick the bills, but the wow. photo imagery. This should be a good game. I'm I'm excited for this game on Monday night because I think it's just going to be two offenses yeah. just like going, you know, blow for blow. I picked the Cowboys to win. Yeah. I don't know how confident I am on that. But a rare a rare win for the Cowboys being in prime time. And the Giants are in prime time. Okay, NFL, can we please stop filleting the NFC East every single season? It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I get pre before the season started, Giants Bills should be a good matchup. (laughs) But come on, guys. There you go, Grant. There you go. I know. Sorry, because it should be a good game. I love football. I get excited for football. But my excitement hurts me. So. Oh, you're 49 and 29? Yeah, I'm not great. Not great, Bob. I am 47 and 30. Who's in first place? Oh, Proto hanging in there. Oh, someone in mine is uh, 59 and 19. In my Dang. Opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, but Chargers got... definitely could win that game. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, we're it's on the just... first page. We're on the fun. first page. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Although the last two weeks I picked without Will, so oh. whatever. Partner, what you got coming out, buddy? You got the new, 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 new. Yes, I do, baby. Good. What do you got? Uh, I think I'm gonna do a video today. I don't know. There's definitely gonna be a video either today or tomorrow. One of the others. I don't. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll Tight. see. I actually want to ask you a question about a video, but uh, okay. yeah, and then Q and A tonight. So. Nice. Q and A. Folks, we appreciate you watching. We had over 5,000 people joining us today for GPS. But thank you so much. We'll be back on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm Tom Grassi. That's Brandon Perna. This is GPS. And you have been navigated. You've reached 
Oh, destiny! Yeah,